Hello, uh, on the video. And uh, this video is going to be on William Hilton the title on boxer called Jackie Sharkey, who ended his career with a record of 57 wins, 63 losses, 23 draws, uh, with only two KOs and three no contests. If someone has uh, more no contests than KOs, you know that that was listed. Uh, I guarantee you that there's no YouTube videos on this boxer whatsoever. No matter how hard you try, uh, you're not finding another video. I've checked already. Um, we're going to go through Jackie Sharkey's rack against Hall of Famers. Uh, just Hall of Famers, there were other notable fighters he fought. Um, some background information, his real name was Giovanni Cervati. He was born in Italy, and it's not known when he moved to New York sometime in his life, but it had to be before 1914, because his career began in New York in 1914. His career ended in 1926. Uh, nine of his 63 losses were by stoppage. I don't know if I've told you that already. Um, so let's start with his Hall of Fame record. His first fight against Hall of Famer was on the 26th of December 1916, when he lost to Joe Lynch by newspaper decision after 10 rounds. Uh, his record entering the fight was 7 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, with no KOs, and Lynch had a record of 13 and 1, with 3 KOs at the time. On the 20th of November 1916, he lost to Memphis Moore by newspaper decision after 10 rounds. His record was 8, 10 and 1, no KOs at the time, and Moore was 45, 7 and 14 with nine KOs at the time. Uh, 5th of February 1917, he drew with former Bantamweight World Champion Johnny Coulomb after 10 rounds by a nuclear decision. His record at the time was 10-13-1. As some new papers said, Coulomb fought at a very fast pace and outpointed Sharky, while other new papers say it was a draw. And then there's some others that say Coulomb only won the 4th and ninth rounds. So this is listed as a newspaper decision draw fight. The 27th of February 1917, lost to Joe Lynch again by newspaper decision after 10 rounds. Uh, his record won and the fight was 10, 14 and 2, still no KOs. Uh, Lynch was 21, 3 and 2, 5 KOs at the time. 27th of July, 1917, lost to Kid Williams, who I think at that point was a former Bantamweight champion. Other former, uh, former future, I'm not, I'm not too sure in, in the years that he was champion. Uh, he lost by newspaper decision after six rounds. His record going into the fight was 12-16-4. No KOs. Williams was 96, 12, and 7, with 43 KOs at the time. So, Sharkey fought someone with vast, vast more amounts. Yeah, that's not, that's not the proper way of doing that. Someone with far, far more experience than him early on in his career. 20th of August, 1917. On 30th October 1917, uh, Sharkey lost two newspaper decisions to Memphis Palmer after 10 rounds. Sharkey was 12 17 4 no KOs going into the first fight and 12 19 4 no KOs going into the second fight. Uh, Palmer was 54 10 and 15 with 10 KOs going into the first fight and 58 11 16 and 16 going into the second. The 18th of February, 1918, lost to Memphis Palmore again after 10 rounds, this time in points. 
and his wife going into the fight for his 13 wins, 22 draws, 7 draws, no KOs. Tom Moore was 64, 14, 17, with 10 KOs at the time. 1st of April, 1918, lost to Kelly Kid Williams on points after 10 rounds. His record going into the fight was 13, 22, and 7. No KOs. Williams was 114. 100 wins, 14 losses, 8 pearls, with 43 KOs. 4th of May, 1918. Lost in a newspaper decision after 6 rounds to PK Hammond. His record going into the fight was. 14, 22, and 7 with no KOs. Herman was 61, 11, and 9 with no KOs at the time. 5th of August, 1918. Lost in newspaper decision after 8 rounds to Memphis Pamphlet. Their wreck going into the fight was 15, 26, and 8 with no KOs. Palmore was 70 and 16 losses, 8 draw, 18 draws. Ten KOs at the time. Yeah, that's five times he's fought Tom Moore up to this point, and he's lost every one of them. I want you to keep that in mind. Second of September, 1918, lost to Pete Kid Herman. Fine newspaper decision after six rounds. His right point into the fight was 15 wins, 27 losses, eight draws. No KOs, and Herman was 63, 13, and 9, with the KOs at the time. Uh, Sharky, as of now, from what we went through, is no wins, 11 losses, 1 draw against Hall of Famers. But that changes, and he starts to bring it back. <coughs> Excuse me, then, for drink. Fourth of June, nineteen nineteen. He fought Palmore for the sixth time. Yeah, this was a very close fight. Some newspapers reported draw, but the majority of papers reported that Sharkey had won in a fast and exciting fight after ten rounds. After failing to beat Palmore five times, he must finally beat him. Some people would say there's no point after losing the first two times. Yeah, his rep going into the fight was 23 wins, 33 losses, 11 draws, no KOs still. Palmore was 86, 16, and 18, 10 KOs at the time. 15th of August, 1919, he fought P.J. Thurman again for Herman's Bantamweight World Title. Uh, this was a no decision fight, so if it went to distance, no verdict would be rendered and Herman would keep his title. Uh, the title was only winnable by stoppage. Um, well, from Sharkey's record, we can tell he's not good at stopping people. And uh, Sharkey won a newspaper decision after 10 rounds. So he didn't get the title, but he got a good win. His record going into the fight was 26. 33 and 11. Still no KOs. Herman was 71, 20, and 11. Nine KOs at the time. Uh, 15th September 1919. Exactly a month after he fought Herman. For the title, the first time he fought the title for the title again. A no decision fight. And again he won the newspaper decision after 10 rounds. His record going into the fight was 28 wins, 33 losses, and 9 draws. Still no KOs. Herman was 71, 22, and 11. 9 KOs at the time. And by the way, Herman did fight a fighter with a losing record going into the fight. But he was not a cherry picker. Uh, back then, they didn't pay attention. Like from one of Back then, they didn't pay attention to what the records were, and they looked at who you'd beat. And Sharkey had beat Memphis Palmore, so that's why they said or gave him 
uh, title shot. Uh, 6th of December, 1919, Sharky fought Jimmy Wilde. Uh, Sharky's record going into the fight was 31 wins, 34 losses, 11 draws, no KOs. Uh, Wilde was 127 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw, with 93 KOs. And that one loss was to Tansy Lee when Wild was 94 wins, no losses, one draws, one draw. Uh, Wild had avenged that loss and that draw came earlier in his career. And to uh, many people's surprise, Sharkey won the newspaper decision. Uh, this fight, more than any other, proves that records don't mean much. And I'm going to read a newspaper report of this fight from a newspaper called the Richmond Times Dispatch on the Chronicling America website. That's what the link down in the bottom left corner is for. This is a little hard to read. Sharky outpoints Wild. New York Phantom gets well earned decision. American credited with seven rounds. British champion had only two. Yeah, that's incorrect because Sharky was Italian. Yeah, by Associated Press, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, December 6th. Jimmy Wild's name is misspelled here. Yeah, the English flyweight champion making his first appearance. In the U.S. was decisively outpointed by Jack Sharkey in New York Phantom late tonight. The fight by rounds followed. Round one: Sharkey started with a rush landing right. Look, that's how that's how it's worked. Landing a right and left to Wild's jaw. Wild missed a left to the head, and Wild put a left and right to Sharkey's head, and I cannot see. Oh, Sharky retaliated with two punches to the body. But, I cannot speak today. What the hell's wrong with me? Land. Retaliated with two punches to the body. Uh, Sharky drove the Englishman into a corner, landing a shot. Corner of rights and lefts to the head. The round was even. That does not sound even. That, that sounds like Sharky won it. Quite widely. Uh, round two, Wild got Sharky in his own corner, landing with lefts and rights to the head. Sharky missed the left hook and swung. Um, wide. What? Swung twice the body. Really hard to see up there. Uh, Wild landed three lefts to the head. Sharky. He Sharky countering, hitting with a left hook to the jaw. The New Yorker drove Wild to the ropes with a shower of punches. It was Sharky's round. Round three, Sharky he hooked a left to a Wild's stomach, the Englishman landing right and left to the head. Wild missed a left lead to the head, and Sharky jaw earned him with a right to the jaw. Sharky staggered Wild with a left hook to the chin. And Sharky was straightened up with three straight laps. That was Sharky's run. Round four. Wild put three light blows to the head, and Sharky dug his left into Wild's midsection. Wild missed um, a left, and Sharky caught him squarely in the jaw as he came rushing in. Sharky took the Englishman. No, shook the Englishman with another nerves who the same spot. Wagner was driven to, into a corner. Sharky's round. Round five. They missed left to the head. Wild landed twice on Sharky's draw. <clears throat> twice on Sharky's draw, forcing him to the ropes. Wild landed with a right to the head. With a right left, but the wording in this is funny. Uh, Sharky retaliated with a 
go to the ribs, sure. Okay, back wild to the ropes, landing rights and lefts. Wild, wild run. Run six, Sharky hooked left to the head three times. Wild retaliated with three straight lefts to the head. Uh, wild planted a solid right in Sharky's jaw. Uh, he backed the New Yorker to the ropes. Sharky deliberately dropped his guard and let Wild wheel away at his jaw. Wild run. Round seven. Sharky put two light lefts to the head and left to the jaw. The body. Wild landed a solid right to the jaw and put two rights to the body. Wild put three lefts to the head. The New Yorker rushed Wild to the ropes. Sharky had a slight shield. Round eight. Wild put a right to the chin. Sharky followed up with a right and left to the head. Wild landed three straight lefts to the head. Sharky tore in with two left hooks to the stomach. Sharky forced Wild to break ground. Sharky had a shield. Round nine. Sharky put not right and left to the body. Sharky missed the left swing to the jaw. And Wild ducked a left swing but was caught in the jaw with the next punch. Wild put two left lefts to the head. Sharky drove a right and left to Wild's jaw as the bell rang. Sharky's round. At round 10, they shook hands. Sharky, he landed right and left to the jaw. Sharky cracked him in the ribs with a right under, and the Englishman put two right lefts and a right to the jaw. Right to the head. What, why do I keep saying jaw? Uh, Sharky hooked his left to the jaw, and, and repeated. Sharky threw the Briton into his corner. The Englishman was against the ropes, trying to ward off punches. The round ended. Sharky's round. That's how the fight went. Yeah, Sharky was no wins, 11 losses, one draw. Against Hall of Famers, now he's four wins, 11 losses, one draw. He's come back with four consecutive wins. Uh, 23rd February 1920, Sharky fought Memphis Palmore for the seventh time. The record going into the fight was 35 wins, 36 losses, 11 draws. He's close to getting a winning record. Uh, still no KOs. Uh, Palmore was 90 wins, 20 losses, 19 draws, 11 KOs. And this time Palmore won a newspaper decision after 12 rounds, bringing Sharky's consecutive wins over Hall of Famers to an end. Uh, three days after this fight, Sharky would score his first KO. His first round KO over a journeyman called Jimmy Conway. 11th September 1920, he fought Pete Hamlin. This was their fifth fight and final fight they would have. And they were 2-2 two and two against each other going into the fight. So this was to settle the score. Uh, Sharky's record going into the fight was 39 wins. 39 losses, 14 draws, 1 KO. Herman was 86 wins, 25 losses, 13 draws, with 12 KOs. And Sharky won the newspaper decision after 10 rounds. So he won the series and finally just barely got himself a winning record of 40 wins, 39 losses, 14 draws, with 1 KO. 28th of September 1920, Sharky fought Joe Lynch for the third time. They hadn't fought each other for over three years at this point. His record going into the fight was 40 wins, 39 losses, 14 draws, 1 KO. Uh, this was right after the Herman fight. Uh, Lynch was 59, 17, and 11 with 18 KOs at the time. Uh, the result was a draw on points after 15 rounds. 15th of October 1920, Sharky fought Charles Ledeau. His record going into the fight was 40 wins, 39 losses, 16 draws, with 1 KO. Uh, Lido had a record of 87 wins, 13 losses, 5 draws, with 74 KOs. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, by the end of his career, Lido had 86 KOs and 105 wins, and 43 of them were in the first three rounds, and 15 of them were in the first round, and Lido had three KOs, 
over Hall of Famers. Uh, Hall of Famers were Eugene Freaky, Jim Dis Driscoll, and Johnny Coulomb. Uh, I I consider Charles Zito to be the hardest hitting bantamweight of all time. Uh, Sharky won the fight on points after 15 rounds. 2nd of December 1920, Sharky fought Joe Lynch for the fourth time. His record going into the fight was 41 wins, 39 losses, 16 draws, with one KO. Lynch was 61, 17, 14, 20 KO at the time. And Sharky lost by KO 43 seconds into round 15, which was the final round of this fight. And that was the only time Sharky would ever get stopped against a Hall of Famer. Uh, Sharky didn't fight another Hall of Famer until July, 6th of July, 1922, when he fought Johnny Dundee for the Super Featherweight World title. His record going into the fight was 51 wins, 44 losses, 22 draws, with one KO. He was wide into wins and losses a bit. Uh, Dundee what, had 173 wins, 45 losses, 44 draws with 15 KOs, and Dundee won by Uli after 15 rounds. And this fight seemed to have an effect on Sharky's career, as afterwards Sharky got another 6 wins and 18 losses. After nearly 3 years of not fighting a Hall of Famer, Sharky had his last fight against one on the 2nd of July 1925 against Joe Lynch the first Hall of Famer he fought. His record going into the fight was 55 wins, 58 losses, 22 draws, with two KOs. Uh, Sharky's second KO was a first round KO over a journeyman named Willie Tucker. He's only two KOs and 57 wins, but both of both are first round KOs. That's, that's a little strange. Uh, Lynch was 97 wins, 34 losses, 19 draws. 36 KOs at the time of the fight, and he wasn't on a great run at the time. And they fought to a draw after four rounds. After that fight, Sharky got another two wins and five losses before retiring, and finished his career with a record of six wins, 14 losses, three draws against all the famers. After he lost 11 and drew one to all the famers, he got another six wins, three losses, and two draws against them. So he cleaned up and brought it back. Uh, if we cut out the bad start to Sharky's career with him drawing 20 wins, 33 losses, 11 draws, and the bad end where he got 6 wins, 18 losses, 1 draw, uh, in the middle of his career he got 31 wins, 12 losses, 12 draws. And considering the opposition he was fighting, that's not that bad. Uh, this is, as I said at the start, this is just the record against Hall of Famers. Uh, he fought other fighters like Frankie Burns, who I think should be in the Hall. He has, he has eight wins over Hall of Famers. Uh, Sharky fought Burns seven times. And from going over Sharky's career, I realized you can't judge someone by their record at all, even if a losing record. You have to go through their career and see who they beat and fought if we're going to judge everyone fairly. Thanks for watching.